All right, former New England Patriot Teddy Bruschi didn't have so many kind words to say about Matthew Stafford to the Patriots, but he said he liked Matthew Stafford, the player, and thinks he's a superstar. But let's talk about it. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And he basically said that he don't think Stafford's a winner. And he didn't go where well the Lions historically are winners. He went there. He said there's a reason why Stafford's Detroit Lions teams didn't win. And he didn't blame the organization. And you see, you see really, really great players cover up for bad organizations. No further than Peyton Manning being out a year in Indianapolis with a neck injury. They went out to be one of the worst teams in the national football. The worst team, excuse me. They end up getting their hands on Andrew Luck. There's no lottery in the NFL. But, I mean, you know, to be honest, you know, it's not saying Stafford's a loser. It's just saying that he's not going to transcend and consistently win you football games. Rodgers, Peyton, Brady, those type, even Cam Newton for the MVP season, you know, he really put the Panthers on his back offensively. And maybe a winning organization can turn – a talent into a winner. I mean, we've seen a different situation. LeBron, you know, was a loser in Cleveland. He went to Miami with a different bunch of guys, a guy, Dwayne Wade, that won. He learned to win, and he kind of been rolling. You got some players, they learned to win for, for a while. Peyton Manning was getting his ass whooped by the Jaguars and the Dolphins, I believe, in the playoffs, and he finally got over that hump, and Stafford ain't been able to get over that hump, okay? have he, Has he been deprived of things in Detroit? Absolutely. A run game, to be particular. You know, but going to New England, I think there's some, you know, things to fill out, to fill in, other than what Chetty Bruski said. I mean, you're going to go there with worse receivers than you had last year. Honestly, you're going to go in there with shitty receivers. And what's that? What's the receiver at Stafford made a star? None. We've seen Rodgers, you know, turn to some Lazar, Scanley, Adams. Rodgers make his receivers better. Stafford don't. So you go there with Jacoby Myers and Akil Harry. Ain't no Kenny Galladay with that catch radius of Calvin Johnson or Golden Tate there in New England. Now, can you get there and say, you know what? I like Golden Tate. I want y'all to get Kenny Galladay. Whoop -de -whoop. I mean, there's an opportunity, but to be honest, Stafford has some, some tremendous talent at pass catcher as a pass catcher and hasn't been able to make the most. And the one quarterback who got the most out the lesser in my Pim C voice out of Eric Ebron was Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck threw a more uh, friendly pass than, than Stafford. If you got hand issues, Stafford ain't the quarterback to play with. Because he's going to put mustard, sauerkraut. He's going to put everything on the, on the, on the, on the hot dog. He's going to sling that thing. Stafford, you know, you got to put somebody that got hands with Stafford. And, you know, Andrew Luck, Luck just throw a more catchable ball. And Andrew Luck was the perfect quarterback for Eric Ebron. Had Andrew Luck continued to play there, you know, Eric Ebron would probably be a Pro Bowl, a Hall of Fame as type of tight end, you know. And, you know, that ain't saying that, you know, Andrew Luck, you know, is a better thrower than football. It's just that he threw a more friendly ball. Brett Favre threw that cannon, cannon to the right, cannon to the left. Wasn't that Rafael Delgado <laughs> from uh, Fresh Prince? But, I mean, he did. And you looking at you look at Matthew Mahomes, hey, he can sling it too. You know, did that boy, Andrew Luck ball was more friendly than his, but... I'd rather have a guy who got a rocket and can make all the, num the throws outside the numbers. But, you know, also, and then Teddy Bridgewater said, I mean, Teddy Bridgewater, Teddy Bruschi said he's going to have to adjust to the Patriot way. And then in year 13 or 14, whatever you're going to, you think 30-some-year-old Matthew Stafford want to adjust to the Patriot way? Hell no. You know, <laughs> hell no. He don't want to go to New England, be cold again, play outdoors, and adjust to the Patriot way. He does not. And if they are trading for Matt Stafford, then I'm pretty sure they probed the mind of Matt Patricia, who back in New England, and you know maybe Patricia really like him, and that can could become that could become a relationship. But I mean, Stafford can throw it, you know. Bruce ain't lying about that, you know. His his arm is fantastic. It's just putting him in that system, you know. One thing he gonna have there, talking about some positive note, he gonna have a run game. They gonna run the ball. The question is, are they gonna get him some weapons? And they up against the cap. And he's going to have a great defense. You know, uh, with everybody probably coming back from COVID, uh, Hightower and all them guys, the guys that opted out was a few of them, they're going to come back healthy, spry. And I think New England with Matthew Stafford can be a championship contender next year. You know, really can be. And I think his his arm talent, along with that play, actually probably wouldn't be the worst fit. And maybe Bill, Bill Belichick can install the, the winning intangible in Stafford. You know, when Stafford start winning New England, he won the Super Bowl, then it's going to be like back to Brady being a system. 
being a system quarterback, but I think I think Teddy Teddy Bruski see that ain't a perfect match. Uh, and also mentioned that he gonna have to drop and pay, and I think Stafford historically have has taken uh um friendly contracts for the Lions, and you know, but I don't think he wanna uh I don't think he wanna keep taking contract uh contract friendly um contracts, excuse me, for for the Patriots and. You know, just being that whole, he just came out the Patriot whole situation in Detroit, even though it was the great va- value brand. But the fit might be a fit, you know. But I think for Stafford, and I said this all today and all through the weeks, out west is his fit. If it's Southwest and New Orleans, if it's the Rams, if it's the, the Niners, if it's the Cowboys, if it's the Denver Broncos, West. Is where his final destination is. And, you know, with Teddy Bridgewater, I mean, I keep calling him Teddy Bridge. Teddy Bruski, there is some validity to what he's saying, but it don't mean he can't win in the right situation. You know, it don't mean he can't win. And people say, you don't like Stafford? I just, it's time for change. I have a dream that one day Matthew Stafford can go to a team and, 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 and have a real coach and a real organization. Okay, can I get an amen? This is Dr. Martin Luther. I had a dream that Matthew Stafford can go out to the 49ers and win, win, win. To quote my young brother, young Jeezy. <laughs> but yeah, man, I want to see him win. I'm not going to be voting against him. Or fuck that. Unless he's playing the Lad Lions. I'm rooting for number nine. I got a number nine jersey. I'm just keeping it real. Keeping it humble. Keeping it a buck. And a lot of people don't like this time for a change for him. This change for us. If he, you know, if we would have made a change three years ago. See, Stafford would probably be a Hall of Fame. One Super Bowl. With Stafford numbers, he might go into being a top 15 quarterback. Two Super Bowls. Now you're probably talking, talking passing Aaron Rodgers. He just got to be. And you could say we could have put Aaron Rodgers, you know, with the 49ers. He probably play another four years and may go, may get to three or four or five Super Bowls, something like that. You know, it's a lot of guys in the wrong situation, in wrong situations. That can win more, but we want to. I want to see him win. I want to see him be successful, you know. And that's just in real talk. And Teddy Bridgewater, that may not be the fit. But then again, you got some defense coming back in New England. You got a great special teams. And you know, your real question is pass catcher. You know, Matthew Stafford not going to go out there and put the numbers that Cam did. He's a more accurate passer. Cam has always been high with his throws. That's been his mechanical issue, you know. So with Cam, you put him with Galladay, you put him with Calvin, you put him with A.J. Green, Julio Jones. All his receivers need to be able to jump. With Stafford, you don't really have a high issue. You know, Cam Newton ball come in hot and high. With Stafford, you know, when Stafford got time to plant his feet, especially you play action to give him big windows, he going to put it on you. The question is, can you catch the fastball? You know, because he going to put it on you. Sometimes, you know, obviously most some quarterbacks miss high. But you don't want to miss high over the middle. You don't want to miss high over the middle. I'm telling you, you don't. But, you know, I can see it working. I really can. I can really see Stafford going over there and doing all right and doing good, you know. And then, you know, Belichick strikes back. Either he's going to be the, the, the Empire strikes back or he's going to be the return of the Jedi. If you can step back with Stafford and win. But me personally, I don't think the, the Patriots shouldn't <laughs> – they shouldn't even be mad at giving up draft c- compensation, and they can't draft. And I'm gonna address that on my channel tonight. But uh, be on the lookout for that. We are gonna go out for it tomorrow. But um, but yeah, I think Jimmy Garoppolo is really coming back there, and that's gonna be a quarterback that they are gonna try to get the most out the lesser, in my pimp C voice off off of him. But yeah, I think I think Matthew will do fine in New England. But I want to see Matthew go out west. The Rams, the Broncos, the 49ers, the Saints. The Cowboy, I want to see him kind of go there. Indianapolis is still kind of west of us. So, you know, if you're in Detroit. But, yeah, I want to see him kind of be be successful. And Trey Bruski might be right. He might not be a New England guy. And that's okay. Not everybody can fit in that uniform on cold system. Everybody not fit for the military. I remember I almost went to the military. My dad talked me out of it. But had I not had some issues um, there, I probably would be over there doing something. I hope God will not be back. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk Plays. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We try to be a business question, quiet response, video request. All my social media links in the description. Fast way to reach me is Twitter, then Facebook, then Instagram. Uh, want to make a donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Best way to donate, share the video, check my other channel out. Goodfellas Sports TV. 
right here on YouTube. Let me know what you think what Teddy Brisky said in the comment section. We gone.